Welcome to NABS, the North American Handmade Bicycle Show, brought to you from here in Sacramento, California. We're here to bring you the hottest new custom bicycles, as well as some great new tech from the show. So come on, let's take it away. when you take cyclocross and mix it with track cycling. Track lacrosse? We're here with Squid Bikes who are known to produce the raddest bikes in Sacramento, if not the world. And this is their first track lacrosse specific frame. Chris, the co-founder of Squid Bikes, who also designed this bike, said that it's somewhere between a cyclocross bike and a track bike with a couple of modifications to make it perfect for the job. Those include a raised bottom bracket and slightly steepened angles to make the effect of toe overlap slightly less. Just like loads of other frames made by Squid, this one was painted by co-founder Chris, actually against this wall, which makes for a really cool piece of the show. Now we're really stoked to see how this bike gets on at the first ever Track Lacrosse World Championships this August in Japan. We've got a really exciting world first here on stand with Weiss, based out of Brooklyn in New York. They're the first frame builders to be given the opportunity to work with an all new super magnesium alloy from brand All Light. It's claimed to be 33% lighter than aluminium, also lighter than titanium and steel, with 20 times more shock absorption than typical aluminium. So this is giving frame builders the potential for an all new material that rivals carbon fiber, both in terms of weight, light feel and performance. This frame is also TIG welded and carries the call-in card of Weiss with those amazing asymmetric seat stays. I've just been speaking to the builder of this bike, Tom Porter, and honestly, I don't know where to start on this one. This is Winged Victory, inspired by the really famous statue that's in the Louvre, and it is just one of the most spectacular bikes here at NAVS. If you could see it here in the flesh, you'd really understand why it took Tom an incredible two months to complete this build. It's just incredible. And it's not just the frame and fork which Tom made himself. He's a professional metal worker by trade, so he really got into frame building in a spectacular fashion, which is manifested in this. Tom has also handcrafted several beautiful pieces on this bike, right the way through to the Art Deco inspired rack, all the way to tiny little beautiful details like the dust caps. And that's not all. He's also customized several of the parts that he didn't make himself, from details on the cranks right the way through to the mudguards, or should I say fenders. The most intricate feature of this build are those gorgeous winged lugs, which of course Tom makes himself, along with that chain guard, which apparently took three whole days just to design, let alone make. It is without doubt that this bike is in a class totally of its own here at NABS, and it's really no wonder why it's getting so much attention here. Does this bike look familiar to you? It's now time for some cool build tech. We're here on stand with our friends FSA, who've got their K-Force wireless electronic group set, now in hydraulic disc brake version, that's gonna be going into production soon to join their rim brake version that's already on the market. Along with these cool looking disc brakes, we've also got a new cockpit on this one from FSA with the advanced cable routing system. So the hydraulic hoses on this build go straight into the handlebars, down through the stem, past the headset and into the frame, which makes a really clean looking front end. There's gotta be pretty aero as well. And as we all know, aero is everything. And this one as well. I swear I've seen this paint job somewhere before hot off the press. For the first time, you're now able to buy Mavic's carbon rims as a standalone product, which means that you can customize them to your heart's content. Choose from either the deeper section 45mm CXP model or the open pro carbons, which are narrower. And of course, both are available in both rim or disc options. How would you build up yours? Let us know down in the comments. But for now, they've got a master wheel builder here on site making up those first few pairs. Here he is, take it away, John.
We're on stand with Black Magic Paint, who are a pair of painters from Portland and Oregon, and they've got a massive array of gorgeous frames on stand, but this is my favorite. This moot takes a big step away from the traditional raw titanium finish, and is said to be inspired by thermal heat maps. And there's loads of others. I mean, just check out this amazing candy fade. Before we even cross the Atlantic, I knew that Mosaic were going to be here at NABS and they were hot on my list of builders to come and see and I can tell you they have not disappointed. They're celebrating their 10 year anniversary this year at NABS so they brought a whole suite of bikes to show off here. Let's start right here with this glitter bomb of a bike, their road bike. From the quality of their titanium TIG welds to this outrageous paint job done by their in-house sister brand, Spectrum Paint and Powder Works, this is a really enviable build. Another trend that we're seeing here at NABS is for color matched frame pumps on bikes, just like this one from Silka. So that's not just pretty, but also most importantly, practical. One of the cyclocross bikes from Mosaic, this one actually belongs to the founder, Aaron, and was raced this year at the USA Cyclocross Nationals in single speed setup. We even caught him at the start of the show, scrubbing off that last little bit of mud, which is pretty authentic, I guess. He's got an interesting setup here, one that's quite popular among cyclocrossers, where he's got Dura Ace cranks, but then a mountain bike XTR rear derailleur, and using a Wolftooth Components front chain ring to give that one by setup. Now, this is a really special bike from the Kentucky based builder Don Walker, and this is actually a tribute bike to the late Dario Pegoretti, who was a really close friend of Don's. It's made for one of Don's close friends, but the most fascinating part of this bike is actually the Big Leg Emma chainstays, which are a really close replica of those given as a personal gift from Dario to Don over 10 years ago. The paint scheme is based on Vincent van Gogh's Starry Nights, and it's in pink and blue as they're the race team colors of the friend of Don's for whom it was built. And whilst we're here with Don, we've just got to point out this one, which is a paint collaboration with artist Nick Starr. And as a zoology nerd, I just can't get my head around the level of detail in this paint. So cool. Since the passing of the legendary Italian frame builder and painter Dario Pagaretti last year, the very small and dedicated team in his workshop decided to carry on making bikes under his name. Especially in his later years, he was best known for his experimental paint techniques and especially hand painting, which as you can see in this frame, the team have taken forwards. The etched and scoured paintwork that you can see here is said to represent the anger and frustration the team have faced over the last six months, as well as the strength and belief that have helped to carry them forwards in their mission of creating these bespoke, beautiful frames. San Francisco is known not only for its hills, but for its massive track cycling scene. And that's exactly where Andrew Lowe of Lowe Bicycles started his building career. He started off using aluminium and has sticked with that material ever since, moving from track bikes through to cross and gravel bikes, and now onto road bikes as well, so he's offering the full suite. The most fascinating things about his build is his unique welding process, which takes five hours per build and gives you this amazingly smooth finish. You really would easily mistake it for a carbon fiber bike. And on top of all that, he also shapes all of the tubes himself, which is really impressive. Now that's a wrap from us from the North American Handmade Bicycle Show with our hottest tech. But don't you worry, because we've got loads more coming, so stay tuned for that. And now if you'd like to tech out another great feature, click just down here and give us a like. Oh, bum bags. Away from the t t t t t t super cool, super cool, super cool, super cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, my knee. <laughs> Come on, legs. You've got this. Until then, we've got. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great meow. <laughs>